Hi everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I am going to be doing my very first, I think, what's in my bag. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, you guys, before we get into this, let me go over our card for today. It says, go donate bones, blankets, and cat toys to your local animal shelter. And while you are there, you might as well love on the sweet animals. That's cute. I definitely cannot, well, I could donate things. I could do that, but I definitely cannot love on the animals because I'm allergic to everything. So but that is a really cute idea, but I can definitely do the donation part. So I'm going to look into that to see what they actually need because that would be really sweet um i hope you guys are doing well i am doing well i am pre-filming this so my week has actually not started yet i know by the time you guys see this it will be wednesday and so this will be replacing my planner video for the week because this is my planner bag so we're going to start obviously in the front with the bag itself this is a delphonics utility pouch for carrying tools, it says it's made out of cotton. It has 14 pockets and it's giving you 265 by 184 by 65 millimeters. And this is by the brand Delphonics. I was influenced <laughs> to purchase this bag by uh, Allie over at Planning with Boys. Um, she had a beautiful yellow bag because yellow is like her color. And so when I went to go look for, you know, one, I wasn't really too keen on the yellow. I would have gotten it. But then I saw this one in this like stripe pattern and I just fell in love. I will say that this bag to me is just absolutely gorgeous. Blue is my favorite color. So I was excited about the blue stripes and it's also just very well made. Um, it does have like, you know, the little hooks on the side so you are able to add a strap to it if you would like i'm not going to do that because this will be a stationary bag for me so i don't really need to you know it, it's primarily going to be at home unless i'm going somewhere but even if i'm going somewhere like i would just literally drop this in a larger bag so i don't need the straps i did add my hello kitty charm that i got from boutique charms to it as like a zipper pull and i love it so in this front part here, I just keep these bookmarks and these are from Sweet Kawaii um, so that, you know, they're accessible. These are also really good because they're metallic. So they're also really good washi cutters. <laughs> so I like to have those handy. I do have a pair of scissors because, you know, we be cutting. And then this is a glue pin that I've had for quite some time. And I just found it again and I was super excited because it's not dried out. So love that for me. Um, but I just really like how everything just kind of, you know, clips. Now, this is being honorary, but I like how everything just kind of clips in and chills out. Um, I keep a pencil in here because, you know, just in case I have a Sharpie black, of course, I have my three favorite Tombos, which are in 95, 850 and then in 75. So these are like my favorites for highlighting and things if I'm going to do that in like planners or journals. Um, those are just my favorite like neutral colors. I have these two pins, which um, they're like the dupes of the Muji pins. And I love them because they write really well. Um, of course, you have your Tombow. Uh, these are the Fudenosuke pins. So I have two of those. And one of them is like the journaling one. And then one of them is more of like a brush pen. I keep this pin in here. This is the Pilot, sorry, everything's upside down, the Pilot Multi-Ball. This is really great for the Sweet Kawaii stickers because it will write on them and it doesn't smear. Um, those stickers, in case you're new here, they are made of like that vinyl, so you need a permanent marker to write on them. But for whatever reason, this Pilot Multi-Ball works. Now, last time I checked, this pin was out of stock. <laughs> so hopefully they are coming back because, yeah. Um, I keep a La Pen in here because I just, I like those too. And I like having pen varieties. I have a million pens, <laughs> but these are probably the ones I just gravitate towards the most, most of the time. Um, I have the Micron and the 08. And then I have a couple of the Uni pens. Now, I'll, normally this clips right on here, but because I'm trying to film, it's not. 
going to click. Okay. And then, yeah, two of the uni ones, and they're both the 0.38 millimeter. Um, and I just really like the, you know, fine points on these. These are not my favorite pins because they can be a little skippy dog, but, um, you know, they, they work. Then, of course, I have a couple mild liners. Again, these are my two favorite of like the, what I consider the more neutrals. So I have the gray, and then this is like a green, what is this green called? Uh, does it have a name? This is one of those like special edition ones too. That's why it has pandas on it. It doesn't have a name. Okay, so yeah, but it's like a green color. So those are my favorite neutrals. And then I also have these, which are literally my favorite highlighters of all time. And these are the Alohaster brand. I just, I don't know, I just love them. I love how they write. Um, I love the colors, so yeah. So yeah, these are made by the Alohaster brand and I will link these in everything that, well, most things that you see in this video will be linked in my description box so that you're able to grab them from Amazon should you cho so choose to. If it's not available on Amazon, then I'm not probably gonna list it because that means I don't even know where it came from. <laughs> um, and then in the front, we have some pendants that I have. I do have a very extensive, extensive pendant collection as well. So these two here, the planner one and the coffee one, I know for sure are from Kubo and Lucy. This one is from Simply Gilded. This is from Oki Plans. And this one is from, I think it's called the Planner Nerd, I think is what her shop is. So I just added a couple of those on there because I think they're super cute. Then we have our back and another Simply, Kil Simply Gilded. And then this one, I don't remember where that one came from, but of course, because Hello Kitty, yeah. So I may add some more to the back. I'm not sure because, you know, it's the back. Um, I do have a couple, again, of the washi cutters, and these are from Sweet Kawaii. Then back here is like where I keep ooh, ooh, all of my tools. So I have like, this is one of those I use as like a sticker lifter. I have uh, one of the little cutters. This came from Sweet Kawaii. Uh, the EK Tools tweezers. I think I picked these up at like Hobby Lobby. Uh, another you know, I use for stickers, like to lift them. This is from Cricut, obviously. This is a, uh, like, um, I don't know. This is, I mostly use these for vinyl, but sometimes they help you get your stickers off the page as well. And this just came with like one of the vinyls. So, you know, just Amazon. Um, these are like my favorite scissors from Stampin' Up. I really love the very sharp points, although be careful because if you drop these on your foot, you will probably stab yourself. Um, <laughs> but yes, so these are from Stampin' Up. And then I have a slice tool, which is also my favorite for cutting washi or stickers. And then I do keep a whiteout. Um, the Tombow whiteouts are my favorite, but it doesn't really matter like which ones you use because the big ones are pretty cool too. But I just, I don't know. I prefer the Tombow ones. Um, all right. And then inside... I have just some like random, like this is a, a sticky note, just little notepads. I like to have these just in case, you know, got to jot something down real quick. Um, these are from Simply Gilded. And then this is just a little notebook from Hobonichi that I thought was really cute. So yeah, I keep, oh, and then I have this little notepad here from Notique. So yeah, I just like to have those in there just in case. I don't know why I have a box of razor blades in here i don't know what this goes to <laughs> uh i don't know i haven't put anything in these two pockets. look how beautiful this blue is you guys i haven't put anything in those two pockets yet um because i feel like this bag is already pretty stuffed but you know then back to my collection because i told you so yeah the regular like you know big white out it's cute i mean it's it works well but it's not as like you know aesthetic as <laughs> the tombos which is why i prefer these so another tombow correction tape i do love to have my adhesive i prefer the adhesive rollers and the dots are my favorite and this is from the tombow as well and then in the event that i use the hobonichis or other any cream type paper this is like a cream white out so it's not the you know typical white which is awesome. And then 
Oh, that's why I have it. Okay, so this is another thing that I like to use to cut washi, especially the vinyl wash. That explains these. Um, especially the vinyl washi, just because sometimes it gets a little tricky. So, you know, I have this, like, slice thing. I don't even know what this is called. But I got this from Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, and then uh, an X-Acto knife, which I never really use. But again, you never know. So keep that in there. And then another little tool, this came from Sizzix, and it's just another little like pokey thing so that, you know, in case you got to pick something up, especially those clear stickers, because sometimes those clear stickers really give you a run for your money, especially the clear stickers that are in those like sticker books. So the ones from like Live Love Posh or Heather Kale, like, whoo, sometimes they really, they get really difficult. So these come in handy. So... Anyway, that is it, you guys. Um, that is all that I have. I do notice, though, that one of the things that I use all the time that either I just did not put in here or I took them out already are my dot markers. Uh, I must have taken them out because the colors that I would normally use for them are not it's not in this pile okay so yeah the zig color dot markers are also like some of my favorite things for um making myself to-do lists and then that way i don't need like the to-do list stickers i have like a, a tan one you know like a beige one and things like that but i don't i have to figure out where i put them because they should be in here so that means i took them out and now i gotta figure out where i put them so i can put them back <laughs> All right, you guys, but that, oh, and I need to add this back in here too because I took that out earlier. This is one of the Pilot Friction, uh, the erasable pens. I do keep that because that is my preferred pen for budgeting. All right, you guys, for real this time, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you made it to the end of this video, I would love, 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 oh, here's one. <laughs> it fell. Yeah, zig clean color dot. Let me put that in here. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> squirrel um i would love 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 if you made it to the end of the video if you would leave me any type of bag emoji in the comments just so that i know that you stayed until the end of the video you guys are amazing be safe be kind or be quiet and be well and i'll catch you in the next one